Hi and welcome everyone, Lisa here. Today I'm sharing a few encouragement cards with you featuring Casual Friday's Breathe stamp set. So I'm going to be using the stamp at the bottom of the stamp set there. It looks like a brush stroke. We're going to be using some four and a quarter by five and a half inch 110 pound Nina card stock to stamp on and I'm using a stamping tool. Because I'm going to be stamping three card panels at one time, it really helps to have the stamping tool for positioning purposes and making sure that the, um, everything stays in the right place while I'm stamping. So I'm going to be using Distress Oxide inks in Candied Apple, Picked Raspberry, Carved Pumpkin, Squeezed Lemonade, Twisted Citron, Peacock Feather, Salty Ocean, and Wilted Violet to create a rainbow down the front of our card. So as you already saw there, my sentiments are cut out. But I wanted to give you a quick tip for cutting out scanned images using the Scan and Cut without using the Canvas Workshop. When you scan the sentiments in the Scan and Cut and it recognizes them, it recognizes all the characters of the sentiments. So to avoid this, what I do is take a piece of inexpensive cardstock and I use my mini Misty, um, Misty stamping tool. I go ahead and position all the sentiments that I'm going to be using onto my inexpensive cardstock and then go ahead and close the lid and lift them up onto the lid. Go ahead and ink them up one time and then stamp them. Now you don't have to worry about this um, stamping being perfect because you're going to take a black marker and actually black that out as you see here. So now we're creating a solid image so that when we scan this in, the scan and cut will only outline our sentiments instead of trying to recognize each individual character. Now I know that if you have the option of working in the Canvas Workshop that you can trace items in there, but for those of us who don't have that option yet, this is a great workaround. Once you've stamped the first images and you've colored them out, blacked them out, go ahead and grab a good piece of cardstock, re-stamp the images and stamp those so they're nice and crisp. I stamped mine probably two or three times using VersaFine um, Onyx Black ink. Take both of the stamped images over to the Scan and Cut and the, you want to scan in the solid one. So take this one, lay it on your mat first, and scan it through. And then when the machine pulls the mat back out, you don't have to remove the mat. You can just lift this piece of paper up and then put the other stamped images in its place. And you want to be sure that you place it so that you know exactly um, where to put the other piece when you remove it. So I put mine in the very top corner so I know where to line up my second stamped images. So I hope that makes sense. So then once you have your good cardstock in place, all you need to do is tell the scan and cut to cut it out and then you'll have your cut images. So quick tip, die cutting. When you're using die cuts with long edges like rectangles, squares, triangles, whatever it is, don't run them straight through your machine. Go ahead, lay your paper down and then your die, or if you do it vice versa, that's fine too. But always run your dies in at an angle so that a corner goes in first. So this avoids that hard crank that you get and that loud crack. It'll run through your machine so smoothly and then you will stop having warped plates. So I have a couple of plates here that I'm going to show you that I've used for a long time now and you'll be able to see that they're not warped and it's because I started using this method of twisting those dies a little bit and stopped making my machine fight with my die to get it to go through. By doing this, I'm, it makes a huge difference. Give it a try, see what you think of it, let me know.
Now I'm going to go ahead and adhere our stamped panels to our card bases. Our card bases are four and a quarter by five and a half inch top fold, but you can use it as a side fold also, and one of them I actually do. I'm using some fun foam. It is colored, but you cannot see it through the 110 pound Nina cardstock. Um, so I just use the fun foam on one side already has adhesive and then I add adhesive to the other side and center it up on all our card bases. So now we're going to go ahead and adhere our sentiments to the front of our card bases using 3D mounting foam. I'm really loving the way that these sentiments turned out and the process was really easy just blacking out the sentiment with a marker and cutting it out with the scan and cut it went really quick. Um, so place your sentiments wherever you want them and then we're going to add some embellishments. So after playing around a little bit with some sequins, colored sequins and clear sequins, I decided I wanted to use some enamel dots and these are Doodlebug matte enamel dots which pair perfectly with the Distress Oxides. So I'm just going to add three enamel dots in different sizes and colors to each card now this is personal preference, wherever you want the dots, that's where you put them. And what I do is decide where I want them and then I go back and add a little bit of adhesive to the back of them to make sure they stay in place. So that's our three encouragement cards for the day. I hope you enjoyed the video and the little tips that I gave you. And I hope you'll join me again. Until then, take care and keep crafting.